life-sustaining businesses still in operation. We've got Red Bull. We've got pepperoni. We've got bacon and meat. Got to have that dead animal. Yep, yep, that's going to help us be healthy. Oh, wait, we got to have uh, beer, Coors Light. We got yingling. Got to have that. Life-sustaining. Going to help us by killing our livers. Yeah, nothing healthy about it. Nope, nope, there isn't. You know, half the stuff that's life-sustaining that is still working, if this is a real thing, why do you think they're allowing it to happen? Because they have so much money invested in it, they don't want to lose all the money they'll make. So they allow it. They don't want to lose all the money they're making from taxing beer and tobacco. No way. Keep shipping those. Those are life-sustaining for the government, for our economy. It's a fucking joke of an economy. It's, it's a joke. It's all a just a fucking joke. And this isn't just Dan. This is the place of I saying this because it's just a little ridiculous. We're allowing everyone to tell us what to do. How long will you let everybody tell you what to do and just do what you're told without realizing if you don't go outside the rules, you'll never expand if you always just do what you're told to do. Never will you expand. There's no possibility in it. So people need to get that and stop listening and having their heads stuck up their butt where they don't even know. To think about what is going on around you. Does it make any sense? Do you feel okay? Go ahead, go do something with your life. Quit putting it on the hold because the government is telling you that this is what's happening. Uh, sure it is, it's not. Anyway. Do what you want to do, of course. It's what you're going to do. But start using your brain. It'll help.